What's up guys? I'm heading back out for another episode of the Flag Daddies. Uh, it's a weekday and I'm only going to be out for about four and a half hours. So I'm going to make the most of it, go to a spot that you guys see me fish a bunch of times. There shouldn't be many people there tonight though and especially with the weather, it's raining. It should clear up here pretty soon though. It's, um, it's clear up north. It's looking like it's moving down south. So I think we're going to be good tonight um, after about a half hour of fishing. But I got a good feeling. Um, the weather has been cool lately. It's cooled the water down some. Uh, this rain might help a little bit. So I'm thinking I might get into at least one good one. So stay tuned. the bottom this river's mean all right so this spot here a little non-traditional for me fishing this early in the day um, it's the deepest I saw was a little over six foot but it's you know it's in the fours and fives all around it and uh, just really looks really good um, they don't usually fa fish like this like I said but then again, I usually don't catch fish during the day. So I'm gonna switch it up, give this maybe a half hour. If it doesn't work, I'll go up to one of my normal spots. But kinda, kinda digging this. I know they do hang out in fast water during the day sometimes. Uh, there's that power generation station right there. And maybe they're just hanging out here waiting for some fish to come down through that. So, you know, chopped up or something. I don't know. Gonna give it a try. So, ooh, these guys are lively. I put some ice in here and they're digging it. Put this uh, rock bass on. This guy right here with a better hook. Woo. Look at that scale, it's trying to screw me. But pretty healthy little guy there. This is some more traditional stuff for me. Well, it was just like 18 feet back there. Uh, this spot during the day, I, I tend to target spots like that. So, I used to pull my kayak up on this rock and fish from here all night long and just slay them. So, pull my boat up, do the same thing. I'm gonna take this feisty little guy with this uh, demon dragon and throw it in and around these rocks, see if anything's hanging out in there in the daylight. Oh man. Man, I couldn't do that again if I tried. Uh, I'm hoping that that rattle will kind of bring them out from under those rocks. Well, it's starting to get to uh, the better time of night. It's um, it's getting close to, I'd say about 7.30, 7.40. Uh, a little after 8, I'd say, is when they're going to start kicking in here. I haven't got a bite yet. been out here since a little after 6. But uh, you can see... Sun's going down. It's gonna be dark here. Another half hour, 40 minutes. That's when I want I want to be fishing. He's on there this time. Nope. Got off. Dang it. This wasn't big enough. You guys probably can't see, it's probably too shiny, but that Sunny is all chewed up and he just missed it. Put it back out there, it's a little bit far. Look at this premium guy. I can never keep him alive. Hopefully I didn't get into his spine. I think I may have. It's the only one I got, but 
I really am interested in what this guy can do for me. I know. Did I miss him again? Dang it. Man, two misses on the same spot on the same rod. It's that lucky rod. It's getting the bites, I just can't deliver. They're missing that hook. It's big sunny. I'm trying to let them run, but dang, I don't know when to stop. Maybe next time I'll let them run even longer. Finally a fish. And my wife's calling me during my first fish of the night. Pulling some drag. He's got a little bit of weight to him. He's not not a 20 pounder or anything like that, but he's got a little bit of weight. Bring him around down to this anchor line here. Yeah, he's staying down. He's growing a little bit. Somewhere in the teens. I'm lucky. Yeah, he's a good fish. Hopefully he stays on and I can actually net him. Ah, nuts. Netting by yourself is never a fun thing. Probably should just get the grippers. Oh. Got him. There's a fish in the boat, yeah. He's actually pushing 20. All right, that rod is so lucky. I don't know what it is. Oh, he found a hole in the net too. It's not the rod. Maybe it really is the demon dragon. I mean, they seem a little gimmicky to me, but this rod always gets hit. That hooked that. I don't know if you can see. Thing is hooked perfectly. Finally. My little grippies. It's a good looking fish. <sighs> All right, so he is seventeen and a half pounds. Like that. Put them up here. Now I gotta figure out how to do a selfie picture by myself. Uh, I guess I was recording all that. Okay. Well, one last look at this guy. Who knows? He might be my only fish of the night, but that's all right. 17 pounders, good for me. All right, so I just put a demon dragon on this guy to see if maybe it's a demon dragon or if it's just that lucky rod that's always in the perfect spot. 
So, Demon Dragon, Demon Dragon, regular. This guy's also got a Creek Chub on it, so it's kind of a double whammy. Nope. There's another one. He's way out there. Not very big. Actually, he's very small now because he came off. Dang it. If I could just keep a fish on tonight. More than one fish. Hit my rock bass that's been on all night. He's still lively. Crushed him right there though. Ooh. Tree just fell down in the woods. Hey guys, I was reeling this one in and there's a there's a fish on here. It's just been sitting with it. It's been getting those uh, taps on it for a while. It's, it's not that small of a fish. I don't know why it wasn't a uh, doing anything it's not fighting much like a fish though so i don't know it's really odd he is a fish he just just coming in slow and he's probably gut hooked which sucks Flathead just sitting on it. That little, little shark. Yep, it's way deep in him. He must have took it under a rock and was just sitting on it. Let's see if I can save this guy here. I can still see the tail. bad at getting fish out of the water with my hands uh, all right time to do a little surgery all right thinker but he's a fish put him back should eat him all right buddy good luck Somebody might be eating you someday. Well guys, that's a wrap for the night. Uh, not bad for a week night. Uh, if I would have actually connected with all those fish that bit, it'd be a really good night, but hey, a 17 pounder and then a dink, that's still better than sitting at home. It's worth being tired for tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys. And if you like it, click subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out a couple more videos like this and uh, the Ironman tournament's coming up soon, so keep watching.